to Rising World. I'm Eki Thump and today we are going to be trying to create ourselves a map because last time around we didn't have much luck finding any uh, desert biome to get any sand which means we still can't make glass for the windows. Now in order to make a map we're gonna have to figure out how to make paper and there is a particular crafting bench we need to use to do that so we basically have to take cloth I believe turn the cloth into rags and then turn the rags into paper and I believe we have to do that in a it's called a press or something like that let's get back to our station I'm just uh, just been down there doing my stone mine for the session getting my regulation eight stacks it's becoming a uh, quite uh, quite easy to dig straight tunnels I'm sort of getting the hang of it a little bit now uh, right, so what's the station? Uh, paper press. 64 lumber, 16 iron plates. <clears throat> Can be used to turn cloths into rags and rags into paper. Now this feels like an outside thing to me. Just from looking at that. That paper press. Uh, we can change the style of it slightly apparently but none of these are going to look particularly good inside I'll, that one's all right though uh, let me drop off my stone over by the block bench and we got a variety of like the you know, usual minerals and <clears throat> oh, some coal some iron uh, found some copper a bit of tungsten Now then, the lumber we may even have, but I've definitely got some logs. Um, we're going to need 16 iron plates. We should have the iron for that. I don't think we need to run the forge again. Iron 35. Iron and 54. We almost got it. Got some logs here somewhere. There they are. So some lumber. Resources, lumber, some of that. And I'm actually going to have a drink out of my water bottle. That's good. That lasts quite a while, that canteen there. Now then, iron plates. Let's just double check how many it was. 16. We can definitely do that. So 16 iron plates, 64 lumber, it's a paper press, yeah, can be used to turn cloth into rags and rags into paper. And then we make a map somehow. Um, all right, it's tools, miscellaneous, map, there we are. Just needs one bit of paper. Okay, so this definitely feels like an outside thing. So we're going to find uh, somewhere we can put a little courtyard to do our our outside stuff. Oh, tomatoes, very nice. And there's a nice section out here that would do a thing. Uh, so I should have my rake on me. Do I? Yeah, I do. Here it is. Let's flatten out this bit to be a sort of yard. There, that'll do. We'll need to fill in some holes under there. We'll get some blocks for that a bit later. Let's get our paper press down first. Like there, that should do it. Let's 
So, uh, I guess we have to get some cloth. We have to get some cloth and... Uh, now, I believe we also need a bucket of water in order to do that. Let's actually, let's pass the night. There's not a lot of night time left, but let's get rid of it anyway. Let's do this in the daytime. Morning, everybody. Now then. Cloth we have, definitely. Plenty of that. To make a bucket, what do we need? Uh, miscellaneous... Tools? No? Uh, utilities. There we are. Metal bucket. Four iron plates. Metal bucket. Thanks for the tip, by the way. Um, it was Scott who told me about uh, pressing the left and right arrows to change the style of what you're looking at. So, oh yeah, we could have picked a different table. We didn't have to go with that crappy one in there. And in fact, we probably will pick a different one. Maybe at the end. Because this looks a bit... Uh, well, frankly, it looks like it's been just slapped together out of plywood or something like that. We'll find a bit of a nicer one. Now, I think there's a pond close by somewhere. That's not a pond, is it? Might be over this way. I think what we can do actually is like bring some water blocks over here. So we should maybe dig ourselves out a little pond. But we'll get this, this map thing sorted out first of all. So, uh, bucket of water. Oh, there's another pond here as well. Now, I've read how to do this, like, yesterday. So, I vaguely remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, the theory is cloth, water, rags, water, paper, I believe. So I, oh yeah, there we go. I can stick the cloth into the tray here. And now I just, uh, no? Um, where does the water go? Uh, do not wet the cloth, first turn it into rags. Okay. Oh no, no! Fuck. Why was it... It was sort of going down, but also sort of... Uh... Also sort of removing the press. Now I've lost the cloth that was on there. Oh, you just press F, you don't have to hold it. Okay, so we've turned the cloth into rags. Uh, we've got some rags, okay. You have to wet the rags in order to turn them into... Well, I'm trying to do that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so they're wet now. Oh, there we go. Some nice bits of paper. We did it. 
And it only took us basically three tries. So, uh, let's recap that. We take the cloth, stick it on there without water, activate the press, the press comes down, turns the cloth into rags, then we take our bucket of water, hold down the right mouse button, tip the water onto the rags, activate the press again, and that turns it into paper. Superb, okay. That's not too difficult. It's a little bit finicky about getting the paper off. Now you have to point it in just, <clears throat> just the right place. Right, uh, we should make a, like a crate or a chest or something out here to, and we should make a little pond as well so we can get fresh water when we need it. Uh, We'll do that at some point. We don't need a lot of paper at the moment. So possibly now I can actually go and look for a biome, like a desert biome. Let's see, miscellaneous. Oh, do I have to go in here to make this? Uh, can I make it from the main crafting menu? No, it has to be from here. Right then, uh, I assume that's got its own hotkey, just like the other tools in there. Let's see, map, key M, seems reasonable. So I can zoom in and out, I can drag it around a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's get the compass out then. Let's see how far one map can take us. Now we can't have the map out and move, is the only thing. You have to run a little bit, then check the map. But this should be, yeah, this is filling in as I go along. Actually, I think this, this can just go forever. We only need one map and we can... Oh, that's nice. One map and we can explore the entire... The entire rising world. Well, this grassland goes on for a fair old way. Let's uh, break west at this point. That just goes into some mountains, actually. Um, let's go east. All right, this is that pine forest or whatever. There's no point going... I mean, south... Oh, wait a minute. According to the compass, I'm... Have I been following the wrong arrow all along? I should be fa Yeah, I'm facing north now. Now I should be facing east. But it's the map saying I'm facing... West, if that's directions north. Um, wait, how do compass again? The red bit should be pointing in the direction I'm facing, right? I'm clearly facing northwest at the moment. That's saying northeast. Yeah, that's north. Um, oh dear. Um, okay, uh, th there's must be something wrong with the compass. Um, I think the dial's swinging the wrong way. No, oh, whatever. Um, we're going this way.
Oh shit, a bear. Fuck. We've got to stay out of that goddamn forest. Seems like such a peaceful game until you run into the fucking the bears and the wild boars and if we find a savanna there's lions and tigers and all sorts. There's not even any armour in the game. There's, there's not even right any ranged weapons in the game. You can't even chuck rocks at them. If you want to kill a bear you've got to go in and do it in close combat. Ooh, we've got a lovely valley here. Nice! Our first lake. Our first proper lake. Not just a little pond. Oh, he's still chasing us. What the hell? You know, as nice as it is to see all these... Ro I haven't even brought my bloody shelter with me. As nice as it is to see all these rolling plains of grass, I really, really was hoping to find ourselves a, a beach at some point. Or a desert, even. There's another one of these abandoned shacks. So we've got a range of mountains over there. It's like we've got more mountains to the north. I mean, if we keep going, eventually we're going to crash into the the edge of the continent, I assume. And we'll at least be able to get some sand off the beach. Oh, fuck off, bear. I'm trapped on the edge of the map. Leave me alone. I have to go into fly mode. I literally couldn't do anything. I'm just going to fly away from him. We've got to be careful now, a little bit of damage and we die. It's worth noting that when you're flying like this, the map doesn't seem to generate behind you unless... I, I do think you have to be walking in order to generate the map. Uh, let's see, bandages stop bleeding. I think health only regenerates from eating. Let's see, there's a missing bit of map here. Uh, maybe I just didn't go low enough. Oh, this part hasn't actually generated properly. I guess the map doesn't fill in until the terrain that properly generates above it. Well, there we go. So a bunch just filled in below us and it just popped into existence. And we're actually heading up into some more mountains again. This isn't right at all. We want to be heading uh, down. Well, it's still no beach for us and we've been travelling the best part of a day, some of it by air. I want to get some building done today as well, so we might as well head home. Okay, good to know. If the ground spawns around you and you're flying, it doesn't kill you. We should try heading directly south next time. Southeast we've tried, and that just ran into like even more mountains and grass, but south we haven't really tried at all. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. Let's sleep the night away. I'm going to come out and fill in these gaps in the wall down here where it's floating off the ground a little bit. Then we'll uh, get the rest of the cobble out, finish off the walls. And then we've got to see what we're going to do about a roof. Where's my bed? It's over here. We've also got to see about some kitchen furniture.
Why is my M key not bringing up the map anymore? What the fuck happened to my map? Why did my map just disappear? Can't find any known issues or fixes for that. But it's definitely not there. Let's see if I log out and log back in again, if it'll come back. No, still not there. What if I make another one? Well, at least it's all filled in. I mean, are the maps perishable or what? Um, honestly, the last time I looked at it was while I was flying home. I'm not sure if I still had it when I went to bed. Let's go into bed again. It's still there at the moment. If I go into flight mode, it's still there. Come out of flight mode. Still there. Uh, okay, I'm not quite sure why that disappeared. And it wasn't eating the tomato. Did I manage to drop it somehow? Not that I can see. Uh, well, we'll keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's get some cobblestone and we'll start filling the, the uh, gaps under those walls. Okay, that all looks alright. And we need a little bit more. Despite what I was saying, I think a back door might be a good idea. If we're going to keep coming in and out of uh, this bit. Maybe we'll put one here. Figure out what kind of door we want. Uh, what was I doing? Cobblestone for walls. That's what I was doing. Stone, brick, that one. In fact, screw it. I'm going to make the opening for the wall here. For the uh, door here, even. Got my hammer on me somewhere. There it is. So, fill in the gaps here. And that one there. And while we're out here, is there any other gaps to take care of? There might be some, but um, we'll notice them as we clear out the ground around the house. We have got a bit of work to do outside yet. It looks alright for now. So those built those walls are all built up as high as we want them. Seven blocks. Yeah, and these are one level lower, so these are eight blocks. That should be eight blocks there, shouldn't it? Ah, I think this block this is one block lower than it needs to be eventually. Right. Let's get some more of the Type 41 cobble then. Oh, I need my stone for that. I 
because I'm lazy in a very energetic sort of way, we're going to... Oh no, ah, damn it, we can't. Uh, I'm going to need another piece of scaffolding. Well, if I'm going to make more scaffolding, I might as well just make all the scaffolding. Uh, 20 lumber. You know what, screw it, let's just make all of the logs into lumber. I don't think we're going to be doing any like, woodwork in this episode. No structural woodworking anyway. So I think give me two ramps and one like normal scaffold. And this should be enough. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I think if I get this ramp scaffolding on uh, around here somewhere. Oh no, it's the wrong fucking way around now. No, this way around. Turn it round, for God's sake. Whoa, what? What did I just do? I pressed E to drop the scaffolding. Well, why is it going on this way around? I clearly want it to go on so that it matches that ramp there. Uh, change grid size. Rotate the object around the y-axis. Well, I'm doing that and it's not doing anything. This is trickier than I first thought. Let me get rid of these pieces and start again. Right. We've got a normal piece of scaffolding and I want this, this to lock on here. There we are, like that. Uh, now I want this ramp scaffolding to... Okay, well, it's, it's working now. That'll do. Uh, this piece comes up. Then we've got a window there, and this bit comes up. And we'll fill in the windows from ground level. Uh, I'm going to have to build this piece up layer by layer.
in the traditional Minecraft fashion, placing one block at a time. And now that should be raised up enough that I can actually go back up and do it from there like I'd planned. And we're out of those as well. <sighs> okay, well we'll come back and finish that off when we've done the rest of them. Rest of these cobble blocks. Oh god damn it. You know they took a death at that point. Are there any actual healing items? Just bandages. If I make a bandage... I'm not bleeding. I don't need a bandage. Um, I guess I just have to rely on eating to regenerate health then. Just slowly work my way through a handful of cherries to try and get some health back. Okay, we've got a sliver of health now. Enough so that the screen isn't red. That's good enough in my book. So, one, two, three, four, five, up to that one. And then six here. So that'll be our back door. Now these windows might actually be nice if they were a bit taller. They're a bit... prison campy, just being two by two. Maybe I will knock out some of these. So that should be four high, that's four high. Yeah, I'm going to take out the top two layers above the windows, make them a bit taller, make the rooms seem a bit more open, I think. Alright, well, as the sun sets on another day in Rising World, that's where we're going to have to leave it, I'm afraid, because uh, I have been recording for well over an hour at this point. So we've got some more building on the walls done. Uh, I'm pretty chuffed that I managed to figure out how to make maps. I'm not sure what happened to the first one, but at least when we made the second map it stayed filled in. And this one hasn't disappeared so far. So hooray for that. And that'll do it for another episode. So do hope you enjoyed it. I've been Eki Thump, and that was Let's Play Rising World. Do hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I'll see you next time. Do hope you enjoyed it.